Hello there, this is Sheldon again. Welcome back to LLC Tutorials. Today I will keep my topic on core data and this will be the second part of the core data tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how can we use the NS batch delete to delete the data from the core data table as well as we can use NS predicate to filter the data that we want from the core data table. So I will give you a quick look at what we finished from last session of the core data tutorial. Basically, we create one class called core data manager, which is a subclass of NS object. So inside of this class, we have three functions. The first one is the private class function, because this function will not be invoked anywhere except within this class. So we'd better make it private. The second one is the one that we created to store the object into our core data table. So if you come here and take a look at the core data table, the table name is image entity and it has three columns. First one is by, second one is name, and third one is year. So I'll come back to our core data manager and in this store object function, we will store, when we use this function, uh, we will store our object, which is the name, by, and year into that core data table. So the first step, we need to create the context. So this context will be used a lot of, in a lot of places. So I, that's why we create a function called get context. In this case, we don't need to repeat these few lines again and again. So we're getting this context. Next step, we are approaching or accessing our table, which is an entity. So next step, we just store the name with the key, which the key name will be matching the one that we have in our table. So we will store in name by year, and it will, it will be all strings. Uh, and finally, we will do context.save to save it in our table. The third function I have created is called a fetch object, which is to fetch all the result into an array. So this array will be an image item, which is a struct that I create here. So in, inside of this struct, it will have three properties, which will be matching the name, year, and by. In this case, we will be store all the data into an array of this image item object here. So first, I create an empty array at the first in this fetch object function. Second one, I create one fetch request, which will be fetch or the request that we fetch all the data. After we have the fetch request, we use do, try and catch to get the array into this fetch result. So since the result will be an array, and but the result actually is an array of uh, image entity. So it will not be an array of image item. So here we are invoking the init function of our struct to create an object and then append this ob object into the array. Every time when we append our object into the result array, we will print out the image name, image year, and image by. So let's first quickly run our project. Okay, as you can see here in the console, we are storing because we uh, currently we are having five image item in this array. So the reason is in the view controller, I invoke store all the objects with image 001 by Sheldon in year 2010 and name image 2 as Xiaodan, which is my Chinese name, and also some year. So actually, let's invoke store objects again. So in this case, we will have 10 items in the core data table. This function will fetch all the result and return our result as 10 items. So as you can see, every time I, when we save the data into our table, I'm printing saved. In this case, we will definitely know that we are saving the data. So probably this is not useful anymore. 
I mean, just for now. So in this um, session, I'm going to tell you guys two useful functions so of related to the core data, of course. So the first one will be deleting all the data. So I have prepared the code. Um, I have prepared two sn snippets. The first one is just I tell you guys first, which will be a function of deleting all the data. So uh, I will explain the function to you. This function is called clean core data. So first, you need to fetch all the uh, information that you want because the second step will create one delete request, which will be an NS batch delete request. And using this request is requiring, is based on the result that you previously fetched. So the first step is that we need to create one fetch request, which is quite the same as what we have here. Just fetch whatever you have uh, using this fetch request. Um, as you can see, of course, we're using the table name, which is image entity. The name will need to be matched here. Okay, so we create a delete request based on fetch, and then next step, as we uh, do here similarly, you need to use do try and catch. So uh, I try to delete everything here and print a log as well. So if anything wrong, it will tell us um, the arrow and I'm using arrow dot localized description to show exactly what's happening if it's not working. Okay, so let's go to our view controller and simply invoke this function. So as you can see in the view did load, I mean, in this project, I did nothing on the storyboard, so you don't need to worry about that. So in the view did load, first I'm fetching all the information, which will be printing all the information here um, in the log. So it will print an array of like 10 items similar as this. And um, next step, uh, we are cleaning this core data object. And then after we clean the data, we, we will print the fetch object again. In this case, it's if, if we fail to delete anything, it will print another 10 objects. So uh, let's put breakpoint to make our process clearly. Let's run our project for now. So when the view the load for the view controller invoked, First, it's landed on line 23. So if we go to next line, it will definitely print 10 items, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, I initially we have five items here, and we saved again, so we will have 10 items. So now it comes to this line 24, and we hit this button again to go to next line. and in this case, the clean core data is invoked, okay? But we landed on 25 line, but we haven't run it yet. So if we clear our um, console and run again, it should print nothing, which means we have successfully deleted all the items that we have for core data. So uh, you may not believe me, but that's fine. If um, we can comment this out, comment this out, and run our project again. In this case, we only fetch our object, and it will definitely return nothing because last time we successfully delete every item you know, from our core data table. Okay, so this is the first part of the uh, video that shows how you guys can use this way to clean your local database. So. The second one I will show you is fetching with conditions. I have prepared uh, also some code. So the thing that we will use to filter our data is called NS predicate. So as you may remember, core data is only like API from built by Apple to manage our database. 
So when you create the NS predicate with format, actually this is way if you are familiar with the database, you can easily recognize oh this is the way that actually we operate our database. So it use name contents or something equal to or year because this is number we can use year greater than greater equal than less than or not equal whatever conditions you want and between different conditions you can use um, and to put the logic in the same line something like this uh, but I will not show that for now okay so now we are fetching with conditions and uh, you also need to add this line fetch request dot predicate is equal to the predicate we just um, added here okay so let's first comment these things out I remember we have nothing here yet in the core data database so we need to run our project again to save five to save five items To save five items again into our table. So in this case, we're now having these five items again, and uh, we can run it again. And now we will have ten items. As we expected, we were we are having ten items. Okay, so uh, we can actually we can. temporarily save whatever we have here just uh, to compile so in this case we can compare with the filter that we implemented is correct or not so let's uncomment these lines and we will implement our first filter which is name contains 001 in this case we are only returning the items all these items with image name contains I mean the name contains 001 so because we have 10 items and name is image 001 002 005 and then again so if we apply this oh Sorry, I did the wrong thing. I saved again. So now we will have 15 items. And after we apply the logic, we are returning three items. Remember, we we'll have 15 items. So now let's comment this out. So we because we have 15 items and three uh, five repeatedly, and we are filtering our data with name contains 001 so the items that has name 001 is showing okay so let's use our try our second predicate which is ns predicate equals wng which is my last name okay we can easily see the item the items having last name as WANG is the one image 003 with year 2012 which is exact the ones that we want okay we are trying the final predicate which is year greater than 2012 and in this case we are not storing data again so we will have 15 items so as you can see we're returning multiple items um, image 004 image because we are checking greater than 2012 so only 2013 and 2014 will be good so we're, we will have 
uh, six items with image 004, image 005, year 2013 and 2014, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So this is a way that you filter data and batch delete data. Okay. So now next step, what I'm gonna show you is you use uh, we can use the predicate to fetch whatever result we want. Right, so let's copy this line here in the batch delete. And then we can use fetch request dot predicate is equal to predicate. So as you can see, the clean core data function is changed. Now we have condition for the fetch request. When we fetch the data, we only fetch the name contains 001. So in this case, when we delete the data, depending on the new, newer fetch request here, we are only deleting the specific data with image name contains 001. Okay, so let's go back to our view controller and invoke the functions and sure let's put on that breakpoint again so let's run our project so initially we fetch all the data it will be 15 items next line here okay so we didn't we forgot to remove the condition to fetch all the data Okay, so in this case, we are showing all the data. Okay, we fetch all the objects, and we, it will be 15 items 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 items. Okay, next step, we use clean core data, but we change the condition that we only delete the image name contains 001, okay. So the line 24 is finished and it landed on 25 and if we click one more line, it will print the data from here. From this point, you can see all the data with image name 001 is deleted. So only now it left uh, from image 002 to image 004, uh, 5, and it repeats three times. Okay. So basically, this tutorial gave you the idea to fetch the data with condition. Also, it gives you the idea to use NS batch delete to delete the data that you don't want to keep and manage your core data. So as you can see, we are operating the function here and the final tutorial of core data, we, we will use, we will put everything in a table view and all these different ways to filter data, we will use the UI search bar. In this case, Everything is dynamic. We can operate anything in the UI instead of operating the code here. Okay. The second tutorial of Core Data is finished. I really hope you enjoy this video and I really hope you subscribe if you like to gain knowledge with me um, for this iOS programming. Again, next time I will show you a table view that filtering the core data along with the UI search bar. All right, see you next time.